In countries where there is lots of rain, there is a large supply of water that is safe to drink. In countries where there is little rain, such as Saudi Arabia, the citizens have to get their drinking water from seawater. Water is separated from seawater by a process called distillation. Distillation is a separation process that is used to separate a solution. The diagram below shows the equipment used for distillation and in this first example we will look at separating water from salt water. To start off we would put our sample of salt water in a round bottom flask and we would heat that flask and we could do this by using an electric heater or we could use a Bunsen burner. We would monitor the temperature using a thermometer and we would use this to observe the boiling point of the substance we wanted to collect. We would heat the sample until it boils and the liquid water would turn into water vapour. The water vapour then travels up this tube until it reaches the next part of the distillation equipment. This is called a condenser. The condenser consists of a small thin tube running through the middle and around the outside the glassware is filled with water. The water doesn't come into contact with anything travelling down the middle. It is simply there to keep the condenser cool. So cold water is pushed in, travels around the condenser and is taken out again here. So the water vapour that's travelled in will then reach this cold region of the equipment. And at this point, the clue is in the name, the water vapour will condense and turn back into a liquid. It will then travel through the tube and it will be collected in a measuring cylinder or a beaker at the end. And this will be pure water and this is safe to drink. Left in the bottom of the round bottom flask you would see salt crystals at the bottom of the flask. So in the distillation process we have two main processes. The first is evaporation that happens inside the round bottom flask. In this example it is the water that is evaporating and turning into water vapour. The second process is condensation which happens in the condenser. Here the water vapour cools and turns back into a liquid. Another example of something that we could separate by distillation is inky water. We would do exactly the same thing in putting our inky water in a round bottom flask and heating that flask either using an electric heater or a Bunsen burner. The water within the inky water would evaporate, turn into a gas and go down the side arm where it would be cooled into liquid water where we would contain it over here. And any of the ink particles would be left here in the round bottom flask just like in the previous example we would have had the salt from seawater left here. Distillation is expensive because a lot of energy is needed to heat the solution. So this is one disadvantage for those countries that have to use distillation to get drinking water. However, when they have very little rain, this is a process that they must use to get water that is safe to drink. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.